Hello everyone, my name is Karim Abushusha, I'm Senior Lighting Artist at Ubisoft and today I'm so excited to show you what I've been done on my blueprint and what is the new update. After I received many comments and the feedback from the many artists and I'm really appreciate what you did. Uh, so one of the comments that I received was the water surface. The water surface uh, the one we have exist it it was looks really fake and I know that so I create a new water shader as you can see here it looks very 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 realistic and it has many features and I will show you what is the feature here now so if we go to the blueprint now and go down you can see here is the new water shader okay and also I add uh, what here yes if we open this so in this one you see here we have many uh, many parameters now I will talk about this parameter but let's see if I move the the water surface like this sometimes you have uh, you need to make the water surface very near from the ground so now you have availability to do this and it looks very near so I create uh, I made the uh, refraction and uh, and translucent too to make it more realism okay so if we if we keep this here and go here now you have a tile so you can make your own tile so 10 or 20 as you should see it changes tiles and it gives you very nice look and also refraction if we move the refraction you can change the refraction so you can keep it like this or change it but i would prefer to to leave it as uh, 0 0.85 okay also the opacity if we change the opacity sometimes you don't need to uh, to make the uh, the water surface is um, translucent so you have availability here to change the opacity or even like this okay i think here we have a very look similar from uh, avatar movie but it's real time okay uh, also we have a depth here you can uh, change the depth to give you some fading between the assets and the water surface okay so that's pretty much for the water shader you can play with the water shader now and also one more thing if we go up here and look at the, uh, the ground now we can really see the ground so that's one of the feature too okay and what I add also there is something very cool here it's fish it's really f real fish one of the comments also the fish was looks fake and it was plan uh, plan fish but now we have a re uh, it's a meshes fish and it has nice reflection nice, nice uh, roughness and nice movement too you see this is called of fish this is the only thing so we can turn this off okay let's turn this off and you can go back here and go to fx and you will find these two kind of fish blackfish and japanese uh, macrillin so let's bring this macrillin here you can add it in local so you can add one here and then i So let's take another one here and put in the background oh we are we have one here already so you see you can get a very nice random fish and it looks very real okay or you can remove this and just add black fish the black fish it's is not moving too much it just go and pack in the same place you see it give you really nice feeling so 
this is a new feature too and also what I add it's uh, LUT now you have LUT uh, control so if we go to the post processing you can find where is it let's go here you can find uh, color grading LUT to find this we can go back and select LUT texture color table and bring it here you will not see any different because you have to export this and then open your Photoshop and take screenshot and create your own color grading and then re-import it and after you imported the new uh, color grading don't forget to make sure you have a selected texture group its color look table and then add it to uh, color grading L uh, LUT it's gonna be working very well because sometimes you need to make some uh, some edit in Photoshop to give you a nice uh, color grading. So this uh, new feature too. Uh, there is something else here in the if you go to the fog, we have a new control. It's, it's called fog dynasty. So this basically you see if we play with this fog, we can really get nice more feeling because when we turn this on I will show you here what is different so if we turn the volumetric fog and start to play with this it has a limitation you see we can't go too much so sometimes you need to make the background really uh, deep or foggy so with this options you can really get your mood like this okay and also as you can see here the water uh, water surface it's more real from the plum I fixed also the plum so if we move the camera anywhere the there was an issue with the water surface is to change the exposure but now the exposure is a very stable okay so let's go back here take this one 0.5 okay uh, the last thing I want to show you here uh, because after I saw some uh, some work from some artists they forget to uh, to change the color for sunlight pounced uh, I will show you what is different here if we keep the light pounced as a natural natural color so I will copy this and just reset this you see you get what very white uh, lighting and this is not uh, natural when you work in lighting you have to make scattering of light and and the bend of the uh, how many meter you go deep you need to change uh, the color and the best way to do this you can simply open google and create underwater lighting charts and from here you can find this chart it's very usual okay so from here it show you how the color works so for from uh, 9 meter until 9 meter we have six guide rays uh, six rays and then we start to absorbing the rays until we get uh, blue so you have to understand the physics water to make a uh, nice uh, 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 natural feeling so if we are very near from the water surface it should be more green because we still have green and blue here but if you are very deep so you just need to keep uh, the blue color okay so try to work with the uh, with this chart it's uh, it's very very important okay um, also I create uh, the new trans uh, transform for the sun uh, light pounce it because it was attached before with the main key light but now we have separate transform from here if it's uh, minus zero you see I can change now the color for the pounce it color But be careful when you try to change something you see you can change the direction um, of this pounce it it's gonna help you too much 
اوكي okay. uh, I think that's pretty much and um, it's one step I, uh, I'm gonna show you here how when you try to make any scene just try to first to have uh, some research uh, get many reference uh, and start to, to look at this reference and put, uh, and try to put in the other screen if you work on in two screen and then try to match the same color and uh, the mood uh, I think that's best way but please never and ever try to uh, work on this in the lighting underwater uh, if you don't have any experience or you don't have enough uh, reference for underwater scene because when you have a reference it's gonna help you too much okay uh, I still working to refine the, some uh, some parameters like uh, like particles too. I still work on the particles, but uh, my tools it's gonna be ve uh, I'm gonna update it very very soon, and it might be uh, approved on the marketplace uh, in Unreal Engine. Uh, so yeah, I'm so excited to present this again and let you try and as i said before it's 100 percent free and thanks for supporting thank you for donation uh, don't forget to share this on your uh, social media and see you in the next video thank you